hi guys, this is our bonus content video. Uh, and we're just gonna be talking about stuff that we both just really commonly, like, I mean, like, we both like Pokemon, but she definitely, she definitely has stuck with Pokemon a lot longer than I have. <laughs> so, we both watched Kill a Kill. So, hey, you've watched the most recent episode, right? Yes, last week's. Right, yes, last week's. Yes, yes, yes. And the next one is coming out tomorrow. I, I have work to do! Right. Um, right, you, and it, it's okay that we can't watch it. I will watch so, it on Friday. Right. Uh, okay, so... I have to say that I was a little bit disappointed with this with the last episode. It felt. I don't remember what happened. Uh, um, Ryoko just told. Oh, she's having a crisis. Right, about, she's having a right, 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 right. right. And like, then Satsuki and yes. Okay, yeah, and then like she gets brainwashed, right? Oh Jesus, I can't. Right. Okay, so <laughs> I'll I'll put a spoiler warning. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, um. So. I was a little bit disappointed. I thought there was going to be a little bit more. I know that there there was like a decent amount of like drama, but it didn't feel as intense as the last few episodes have yeah, been. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I was a little bit confused about, like, how the whole brainwashing thing works. They never show it, do they? It's just like, oh, suddenly, it's, it's, it's happening. It's basically, okay, so what it looked like to me, correct me if I'm wrong, is that Ryoko's memories were being, like, re replaced, or, like, or her emotions were being replaced by, by, uh, what's the name of, of the other? Nagyo, right. Oh no, the, I'm oh, sorry, the, the, the uh, uniform. Yui. Oh, 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 uh, Junkits. Yeah, Jun, Junkits. Uh, uh, it, like, she was, like, it was being replaced because, um, uh, Satsuki's father told her that, um, Junkits, it's, is a wedding dress. Right. And, like, they showed Ryoko uncom very, looking very uncomfortable, making me feel very uncomfortable being in a, like, all happy and moe in a wedding dress. Oh, right, 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 right. So I don't understand how she got brainwashed, really. I think maybe just because, like, she has a very weird, a, a very weak persona right now because she is in a crisis, like you said. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't even realize, I didn't even consider that, like, I guess it's being brainwashed, but I just kind of thought it was just, I don't, um, hmm. I mean, I mean, like, she could have done without the whole, that weird montage, because I think it, it would have made sense, yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. I thought it was really strange. Um, it was really strange, but, um, I think that was just kind of, like, the way I took it was, like, um, like, Dagyo putting, hmm, it's weird, because that is brainwashing, but I didn't really see it that way, um, because I feel like if you brain, I feel like there's a slight difference between, like, getting her memories replaced right. versus, like, I don't even know how that works even, right, mm -hmm. but, um, and, like, brainwashing, because if it's brainwashing, then you're being conditioned to actually believe it. Mm -hmm. Whereas right now, I just think she's just kind of on like a, like a murderous rampage mm -hmm. because she just, I don't know, she's just out of her mind. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of brainwashing, I think it's a really shoddy job. Because I'm just like, yeah. she's just going on a spree, like, I don't really know. Like, do you feel that her, her rampage though, like her identity crisis was um, justified though? Because I kind of like didn't like that she all of a sudden was like, don't talk I'm to me. I'm a monster. Yeah, like, like, don't talk to me anymore. Sengetsu. Looking at you pisses me off. Yeah. And I'm just like, bitch, no. Bitch, no, this is like your only friend aside from Mako. Like, don't even. Yeah, like, I was like, I was like, Ryoko, come on, honey, you've been through this before with, with, with Sengetsu. Like, you, like... Yeah, furthermore, I think it's really ironic because when Sen when you find out, like, in 16 or 17 or whatever, that yeah. Sengetsu is actually made of life fibers, he has a crisis. Right? Yeah. And he's just like, oh my god, I'm like, I'm like, exactly what we've been trying to fight against. I'm like an alien being. What? Like, whoa. And he has like a crisis, right? And she says to him, dude, it's okay. We've got each other. We'll work through this together. And then when Sanketsu says the same sort of shit to her, yeah. she's just like, get away from me. I'm a monster. I can't be human. And I'm just like, girl, no. I know. I was like, I, I didn't, I forgot about that part. And, and like the whole time I was thinking like, wow. So you're just comfortable saying because you think that you're normal. <laughs> I was like, I don't... I mean, I think it's different because, like, in this case, she's finding out that she, you know, there's the whole emphasis on, like, Nagyo being such a monstrosity. Yeah. And then she's just like, oh, I'm literally just like her. And that's probably the where, the where it's different. Yeah. Right? Because, you know, you can be, you know... A life fiber you can be like a monster and still take out other monsters right right that's not really the issue it's more like she the being that she hate that the being that she finds so monstrous is actually her is probably where that's stemming from yeah but i still think it's really ironic that like 
Sankic. Like she's denying Sankic's name. Yeah. Like based on based on what he is or based, right. based on the fact that it remind like even like putting aside the fact that what he like what he's made out of or his origins, he's still her friend. Yeah. I'm um, like that doesn't change the fact right, that like, he's still it, your friend. It just felt really out of character out of character because I felt like Ryoko probably could have handled the news just fine like I feel like she would she struck me as the kind of character that would just be like oh god damn it oh, uh, it's fine I'm still me yeah. still F still I still hate you Ragi I'm still gonna kill you I don't really get where she got her sudden power up from yeah she suddenly got really she's just like get away from me swipe the buildings crash down I was yeah like, I was like you couldn't you could barely do that with with Sengetsu, oh, and now on. it's like, oh, suddenly I realize all I'm a power monster. I had. Now suddenly I am I'm using my monstrous power. powers to... I, yeah, I don't really get it. Yeah, I don't get that part either. Um, But we were also talking about... Sorry, because, like, the reason why that part strikes me as really weird. Right. Because the reason why they don't make... Her friends don't make more of an effort to kind of talk her down and be like, look, Yuko, it's okay. You know, we still love you kind of thing. is because, like, they literally cannot approach her because she's so much stronger than they are. Right. So I'm like... If she, uh, the, the things just don't tie together to me. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Um, we, oh, I, I was just going to transition that in, into, like, um, that we, we're really, I, I told Nico that I was really starting to warm up to the um, disciplinary, disciplinary committee guy. Yes. Because he is, he's Gamagori. adorable. Gamagori. Yeah. Gam, Gamagori, is yeah. that his name? Gamagori. Uh, he, I think he's adorable. He I, is I, so great. I don't. I have not seen a character like him in a long time in mm -hmm. an anime. Um, I don't know about you because you watch a lot more anime than <laughs> I do. Um, but um, I love, I love him. I love, I love He's his character. Just a plus. Um, okay. I thought, I thought that his his the design for his um cost uh for his three star costume was was very very smart. Um, uh, making the disciplinary like an S and M kind of thing. Like I thought that was very very smart. It's it's like along my line of humor. And, um, I also, I, I like the super gung-ho people that, like, every, like, very often you see them, like, try to, they use, like, a kink in their armor. Mm -hmm. And, like, it, it's just really, really cute to me, I think. Um, Mako. Mako. Mako Gamagori, OTP. You got a good one. Mako, get on that. There's, yeah, oh god. I'm so um, happy. And, uh, we, we were also talking about, like, how, how we like. I think we both like how intense it is, right? Because, like, we... I think we both kind of, like, reveled in, in, um... The kendo guy, like, like, sewing his eyes closed. Yeah. And making it in the shape of a star... Of, like, the star. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyways, um... I cannot wait for tomorrow because <laughs> I... I, like... I was so excited when I saw Satsuki, like... Where are you right, saying it's so? right? I'm just like, oh god, I really do not give a shit about Yuko right now because I don't even know what's going on with her. <laughs> I'm just like, everything to do with Satsuki and her crew is just 100% yeah. my approval. Like, I... And, and, like, didn't you love the fact that, like, one of her toenails... Yeah! It, I'm just like, oh, well, I'm just gonna do a backflip and cut these shackles with my toenail. No big deal. I know. And I love the fact she's like literally running through the halls naked. Na butt naked. And like kicking ass all the way. Oh yeah. I'm just like, doesn't she kill like the monster, the life fiber monster suits? With, Many. With her toenails? Yes. I'm just like, you have been locked up like and hanging from your wrists for the last like, I don't even, a couple weeks. Probably. Right? And suddenly, and I'm just like, and being like sexually of, abused by your mom. Yeah, I'm just like, and you just like going for it, girl. I'm like, A plus, I love you so much. So yeah. much of my heart, Satsuki, I love you. And how did you feel about the, the fact that Ui is a life, also Nui? a life fiber? Nui? Sorry, Nui is yeah, a life yeah. fiber baby. Like an actual, like, life fiber, true life, like the, from the embryo thingy. I'm just, it's, it's weird to me. It, it, it like, I see it making sense because she's yeah, just like, like, the same shirts and everything. I'm hoping that they'll make it something more sensible in the future. Does that mean she's, like, literally an alien? She's, like, not at all human. Basically. Because, like, apparently she came out, like, from, like, the life form, like, yeah, uterus type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so, like, she's basically not human. Um, like, 
I think they could have done without it for this episode, but they're hopefully it'll make sense later. Yeah. But at, um. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm getting really tired of like Nui and and Ryoko battles because like it's always Nui that that like, acts like she loses, but then like has the, and, actually has the upper hand. Yeah, and or or like. Oh, there was that one time. Right. I mean, like that that time was really satisfying to actually see like Nui like. Someone's here, but but now like after this episode, I'm like she was probably faking it again. Mm, I think just this time it was probably a lot easier to trick Yuko. Oh yeah, because Yuko was just being like, "Ah, I'm a monster. I don't, you know, nobody understands me." But um, I mean, like, I know I, it. I just like the, I'm, in terms of like my opinion on her being like a life fiber baby. I'm not entirely down with that uh -huh. because it doesn't really. Hmm. It feels like. Ooh, it feels. Like, I don't. It's like, oh, look, somebody's actually really strong. Look, turns out they're a life fiber. And I'm just kind of like, does that mean that if you're not a life fiber, you're just kind of like destined for not being able to defeat the big bad? Yeah. Because that's... then like Satsuki was, you know, the paragon of amazingness. And then Duko comes along and it's like, okay, yeah, Duko's the protagonist. Of course, she's going to be really strong. Right. But then it's like, oh, she's really strong because, because of this. Yeah. And then there's Nui and you're just like, I would, I would have been more impressed with Nui as a character if she were really strong. And was just, 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 was just really strong. Right, I feel this, yeah. I not, didn't have that, like, advantage. Yeah. I feel it's a little unfair. And also, like, um, I, yeah, I really wasn't into the whole, the fight scene for a number of reasons. Because first of all, like, like, Ryoko's in a rage and Nui is, is having fun as usual. So, like, there's really, like, I, I'm like, okay, like, I know where this, what, what's going to happen. Like, Ryoko, Ryoko is, is, is in a blind rage. Like, they're going to, like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and, like, and, and <laughs> Nui's just having, having, having fun. And Ryoko's gonna be yelling, yelling at her, and yeah. and like typical Ryoko. And then, um, I pre like I predicted that Nui that Nui was going to like pretend to lose, and then, and then JK. it ended up that she wasn't losing, and then, um, like she pulls out her heart. That's weird. It's always weird to me. Yeah. Okay. I would be really unsatisfied if like at some point Nui doesn't actually get like legitimately humbled. Yeah. Um, I just... Yeah, and, um, yeah, but anyways, I'm excited to see Satsuki fight, actually fight, like... Oh, I'm so like, excited. Now, now that we know, like, her true intentions, like, I, I'm really curious on seeing, like, how Satsuki can work with Senket. How Satsuki can work I'm with really Senket. excited to see how she and Senketsu sort of mesh, right. because, like, she's plenty strong in Junketsu, but, like, I think Ragyo mentions, like, you're not wearing Junketsu right, right? Because, like, she doesn't have this connection with Junketsu. Right. Because Junketsu is just kind of, like... I don't exactly know what's going on with... Does Junketsu have a personality? That's what I was just... That's what I was about to ask you. Because I, I was, like... They're basically, like, you know, black black and white. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Pokemon. Like the Pokemon games, basically. So I was, like... But at the same time, like... Like, Senketsu has a personality, but Junketsu doesn't. Because, like, Junketsu does have base, essentially has no emotions. Do we know where Junketsu comes from? No. we The first time that we only know that Junketsu has been kept in, the, in that tank for that container mm -hmm. for like it's for like possible a while. That, that Junketsu is just like the not a failed prototype but like um that Senketsu isn't a better version of Junketsu yeah right because he made that one after and if like um Satsuki's dad right right like, Satsuki and Yuko's dad probably saw Junketsu and then was like well this has no personality so Junketsu probably I'm thinking maybe what if Junketsu like doesn't have mm, a persona does not have a mind or it is not sentient i and it's just like at the same time though at the same time though i i feel like the way that senketsu and ryoko have like a relationship i think that if that's what fuels their their power then that should mean that there should be some form of like like synchronization of personalities between junkets and satsuki right but, like, if you, like, look at Satsuki's back, it's, like, hella scarred. Right. And I'm thinking, like, because I think she also comments, like, Ryuko's just, like, me and Senketsu were tight or whatever. Yeah. And Satsuki says, like, you know, having a relationship with your clothes, like, that's ludicrous. I think right. she says something like that. And I'm wondering whether Junketsu is it doesn't have any kind of, like, mind, and whether it's just fueled by, like, rage or just, like, raw something. Right. Um, I... I would be really happy if this theory th turned out to be true, but... <laughs> okay, I've watched, like, a decent amount of anime, and I would not be surprised if, like, 
maybe like further along when Satsuki maybe tries to become friends with Junketsu if it's possible that Junketsu actually starts like becoming oh, like be start really developing cool. a personality that would be really cause, cause like cause like um one one thing that's that jumped out at me when we, we were talking about like Junketsu's possible lack of a personality is that like um when uh Satsuki was wearing Junketsu for t- I forgot what episode this was but yeah. when Satsuki was wearing Junketsu for too long um like they had to like like hose her down with ho- like yeah with, with, the... with the fire extinguisher mm-hmm. type things like to be to like sedate Junketsu yeah, I think yeah, right yeah, yeah. so I'm guessing that maybe that might mean like there is some form of like some mind there right but yeah 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 Right, or some sort of like emotion attached to to Junketsu, mm-hmm. something like that. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining just like maybe like if there's no like sedation, sed- sedative type thing that that like they keep using on him. Because I'm guessing that's probably like what they put in the container too. Probably Junketsu right. might show his shows uh show himself more. Maybe mm-hmm. it'd be cool if it was a her. It probably well, that'd be really cool. It's like well, I don't even know Luna and. Artemis? Oh, uh, yeah, from Sailor Moon. Yeah. I think, like, I, I can imagine it, actually, because, like, I can imagine that Senketsu is, it, like, would would have his personality, and, like, because Junketsu means purity, mm-hmm. I can imagine, like, it being just, like, a very prim and proper sounding girl that says, like, mas and desu, like, like <laughs> at the end of every sentence. Well, Joe's on the character. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, I can, I can imagine her being, like, um... I imagine her being, like, actually more of a queen character. Yes. Like, like a, regal. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um... Yeah, I, I, I pictured, like, I immediately pictured, like, um, I don't know, I don't know if you've watched it, but, like, uh, it's, like, an actually pretty good, like, filler, filler arc for Bleach, when all the, when all the Zanpakuto came alive, and, like... I th- did watch that one! Right. I watched that one! It was good. Um, and, like, I immediately imagined, like, it's, um, like, um, so, uh, Sode no sh- uh, Shirayuki. Mm-hmm. Like, th- like, that kind. Because, like, you know, it's Snow, she's, she's very wild. I love, I love Sode no sh- Shirayuki as a character. <laughs> Um, I, 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 I have a, I have a thing for, for beautiful women that can fight. <laughs> and she can fight. She's really cool. Um, yeah. yeah I want to see, yeah, I want to see more about Junketsu. Yeah. I find it really sorry. This is probably not something that they were thinking about when they were making it. But <laughs> I think it's funny that Junketsu is named that. And then Ryuko names Senketsu, like, on her own. And it just happens to oh, be, like... Oh, my God, right? And, and like, and, like, and, like apparently everybody just now knows that, like, that's his name. Right, cause, cause like he talks about him. Right, but but like even like the uh, like Ragyo knows that his name is Senketsu, and like Ragyo's never actually spoken to Ryoko before. Fair enough, yeah. It's, it's, and and like she just suddenly knows. Well, I mean, like okay, that makes sense, cause like she knows everything. But at the well, same, yeah. but at the same time, like yeah. Um, this but is yeah, like the crack theory. What if? What <laughs> if? No. What if like? Um, like, Senketsu was named Senketsu to begin with, and then, like, he's like, oh, I don't have a name, remember, and she has to name him for him, and so what if she, like, you know, because she's in tune with the life fiber, right, no, that's what I was thinking, the name, then she, like, just intuitively knew that his name was Senketsu, yeah, so that's why it matches up with, I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know, I mean, like, weirder shit has happened on that show, I mean, oh, I, I mean, like, like, I was on board with it, because I wanted uh, Yoko to win, but, like, what the fuck was that whole thing about, like, 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 oh, I'm blasting sound waves at, at, at you. I'm like, mm, be in sync with me, Sen, Sen, Senketsu. Do you hear my heartbeat? Do you hear it? <laughs> shonen anime. Right? Shonen anime. Shonen anime. Be in sync. Well, the soul resonance. Soul right? Soul eater shit. I, I can't. <laughs> like, I mean, like, it's... If they can sync up like that, then probably it would happen. It could happen. So my fires of youth. Um, shonen anime. And, yeah, um, I'm excited, I'm excited, I hope that they don't, they don't make the fighting too long. Mm. Um, but... I want more plot, can I have more plot? We don't have very many episodes left, can we, can we hurry up and have, we're on, we're on 20 now? Is next week's 20? It's 20. This, tomorrow's 20? Is it 19 or 20? I don't remember. I think 19 was last week. Either way, it's the same, it's, we but don't we, have much. we don't have very much left, I'm like, can, can we, let's get, let's get going now, we are, we're almost there. Yeah. Home stretch, guys. Um, but yeah, but I, I know what you mean, like, like, now that you mention when you mention it, like, it, it does make me kind of sad, like, the only reason why those women are strong is because, like, they're being augmented, yeah. right, by, like, this weird alien life form, like, I, I, I would have, I think, they probably, obviously, they would have had to rewrite the whole thing, but, or at least the, the half of the, arc, yeah. half of the arc, but, 
I, I would have liked that Ryoka would have just been fueled by her, like, her determination. Mm -hmm as in most animes, like, to just, like, be on equal footing with, like, a life fiber, with, like, mm -hmm. a life fiber being. But, um, that too. I feel like that's a little bit, hmm. I feel like, uh, I'm okay with the fact that Yuko being a life fiber. Right, you're not okay with the fact that, of, that Nui's a right, life Nui's, fiber. Yeah. Also, because, like, I, I feel, like, a little bit cheated because Satsuki is really cool, and I really want to see, you know, I really want to see her kicking ass, and I really want to see her being the one to take down her mom. Like, I mean, they did it once already, but I really want it to actually happen. Right. And I really want, like, both, preferably the two of them together, taking down her mom and, you know, yeah. doing things right. Because I feel like if anybody deserves that victory, it's Satsuki. And I really want her to... But I, cause, but because she's not a life fiber, we know that, like, you know, all too well. Mm -hmm. So, but she's, like, not a life fiber being at all. So it's kind of like, well, if the qualifications for being a badass in this show is that you're, uh, you know, winning, I guess, in this show is being a life fiber being, then I don't see that, I don't see Satsuki being a major player yeah. anymore, and that makes me really sad. But here's the hoping that in the satsuki vehicle battle, that Satsuki proves that you don't have to be a life fiber I to kick ass. I hope so. I really, really hope so.